Evening tubers, it's Farron here and um, an update. Yes, the Carnifex, the model is finished. So here we have it. So let's have a, have a goosey at that. Had a lot of fun painting this, especially his weapon arm. I mean, that was really good fun. That's some really good fun painting in the details of the hands and the um, forearms. So I really enjoyed that and I also like this colour that I discovered when I was painting I think I'm going to incorporate that into a lot of my nids now because I, I like it. It's, I, think, I think it's a good skin colour. And the wash, well I spot washed in the recesses with uh, Drakenhof's shade. Awesome colour again and the um, carapace. Really happy how that turned out. And. Uh, well, I can see it better than you can because the, it's only shown blue, but in fact it's, we've got like a, a mauve, a blue and a yellow and the same repeat down the other side. But if I move the spotlight away, I'm just wondering if the camera without the extra light might pick it out. What I'll do, I'll do a slideshow. I think that'd be best. And then you get a better idea. I have put uploaded some pictures to my Facebook page. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description and um, guys can check it out there. But yeah, there we are. Really happy with that. So there you go. And also got all the slobber on the mouth as well. So I'm really, you know, come on, focus, come on. Focus for God's sake. There you go. Yeah, so I've got all the slobber there on the, on the mouth, teeth and tongue. I just thought they look better with clear slobber than blood because um, they don't have blood in their mouths all the time, do they? They have saliva mainly. But anyway, that's what I did and I'm quite happy how it turned out. So I'd like to, well, I'd like to read your comments on that, please. That'd be cool. And then uh, this is the base, halfway through it. Um, I've just put some very thin layers of um, green stuff all over. Basically, because I didn't like the texture of the cork, so I just like made my own texture. Um, and the purpose for this really is to like I was, I'm going to scrape away this paint on here because these are the hoof marks. I'm going to super glue the uh, carn effects to this base, and now I'm just going to continue with this color, which is um, this one here. It's, um, what is it called? Flat Earth by Vallejo, number 70983. And if anyone can tell me what this little crit is called, uh, is it a ripper or anything like that? Because it came off the Gene Steeler sprue. I really don't know um, what it's called, but uh, I'd like to know. So my um, mission for tonight is to finish the base. And once that's finished, I'm going to move on to these fine cast models, which uh, good old Dean, mate of mine who's also on um, YouTube and Facebook he, um, he's got his own channel uh, I've done a shout out for him before and I've done a swap with him for a uh, model aircraft uh, for some miniatures it gave me a huge swap huge box of spare bits for blood angels because I'm really into blood angels if you haven't noticed already and um, there's um, this figure which is brilliant I haven't glued this arm on yet it was glued on last night but it fell off but we've got a it's got an awesome pose and also a selection of bases that I got from them as well which are really really cool. And I'll show you these, that's the swap I've done with them. Just to show you what an awesome guy he is. These 60mm resin bases. Timber and stone. all the details on that. He's got three of them he gave to me in the swap. Like a crumbled pillar. As you can see there. And they're all resin. So I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. But this is a really nice one. And um, that's what this is. I've got about ten of those. So they, I'm going to put the rest, use the rest of these for my uh, Terminator squad. So I've got ten Terminators. But uh, these are something else they're really nice so I'll let you know where he got them from or even that i just do a make a cast and do it that way 
that's one, <laughs> one way of doing it. But, but anyway, there we go. And then there was these, um, I'll show you now. I never plan a video, you've probably noticed that with me now. But here's the um, other 40mm bases. I've got six more in another bag, I think. So there you go. Yeah, so they're, they're really nice, they are. And also some 25mm rounds. I know they're not using them anymore, but I don't care. I think they're cool. So I'm going to use these anyway. So there you go. They're, they're pretty cool. I like those. I've got quite a few of these, as you can see. So there's like 10 of those there, and I think I've got another 10 in here. Oh, there's another four. Oh yeah, and then there's another 10. And then there's the other bases, and a load of 25 mil rounds. Always good to have anyway. So yeah, that's uh, that's my loot, so to speak. Where did that bag go? I'm, lo I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I really am. So I just pop these away quickly. And that way. So your next project after this kind of effects is fully completed, bases included, is going to be the um, librarian. It will be painted up in the traditional uh, blue, even though he is um, Blood Angels. Um, the new one that they released, I noticed they painted him in the blue armour like the rest of the librarians in the different chapters. So. If anyone can confirm for me if that is true, or I should just do it red to match the rest of the army. But I thought if this guy is in blue, okay, and shoulder pads, that side there with the crooks terminators on there uh, is black, and this shoulder pad here is red, okay, which you're not going to see a lot of it anyway, because there's a huge, great big um, book on the, on the actual um, shoulder pad. But uh, I really like your thoughts, please, on um, if I should paint this as a blue librarian, like they all are in the other chapters, that's if they are, or uh, paint it red. But um, I'm, I'm looking for, for blue because I, I really would like this to stand out because it's got so many purity seals and scrolls all over them. I really want them to stand out. I find that the purity seals, when they're in, in a red, uh, they get lost in the, uh, in the paintwork. So I really want to try something different and I, I really like the idea of the blue okay that's that one and I also swapped this one with Dean which is uh, Captain Dante so he's going to be uh, in all the gold so and yes it's a fine cast model it's not a bad fine cast actually um, quite a few rough surfaces but I smoothed them out as best I could but um, other than that lovely detail it is nice gotta be fair I mean, every now and again, I suppose Games Workshop do a semi decent, what you call it now, um, fine cast. We know they're being phased out. That's a good thing, though, really, because they're not really masters at casting resin. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, I'll get painted sometime this year, of course. But, uh, yeah, so after the base there's finished, I'll be uh, painting this guy. But I would like your feedback as soon as really. Thank you. That'd be cool. Right then. Right, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this one. I have bubbled on for nearly 10 minutes now. And uh, and I'll um, see you in the next one. See if you'd like to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. That'd be fantastic. Thanks again for your support. Love you all. Bye.